Welcome to the Pentax Flash Tutorial Series brought to you by Pentax and Quick Pro Camera Guides. This tutorial will help you get the most out of your Pentax Digital SLR. All the photos you see in this presentation were taken with a Pentax Digital SLR and a Pentax AF540 or 360 FGZ Flash. Your Pentax AF540 or 360 Flash comes with a great wireless feature. With the wireless function, you'll be able to use your flash without having it attached to your camera. This flexibility will provide you complete control over your lighting in any given situation. You can simulate the appearance of natural light, professional studio lighting, or you can create other dramatic lighting effects. You can trigger wireless flash units with your built-in flash or with a shoe-mounted flash. You can even select to have your built-in flash be a part of the exposure or act simply as a trigger for one or more wireless flashes. You can wirelessly trigger one, two, three, or more off-camera flash units to create any number of lighting styles. Before you start using the wireless feature, you'll need to check a few things. First, you'll want to make sure your camera supports wireless flash. All current Pentax Digital SLR cameras support wireless flash. Next, make sure you set your camera properly for wireless flash. Then make sure you set your off-camera flashes properly. You can check the user manual for your flash to see what wireless settings are available and how to set them. After you have confirmed that your camera settings are correct, you can begin the basic setup process for the wireless function on your Pentax flash. Also, note that whenever you use your flash off-camera, a Pentax off-camera shoe adapter F will let you mount your flash on a tripod, allowing you to position the flash just right. It's important to note that when you take a picture with wireless flash, several things happen within a fraction of a second. First, the shutter button is pressed, and then the flash that is attached to the camera emits a small control flash burst. Then the off-camera flash unit emits a pre-flash to determine how much light is needed. The on-camera flash then emits another small control flash burst, and finally the off-camera flash fires the flash and the picture is taken. When the wireless function is used, there will be a control flash, a main flash, and sometimes a slave flash. The control flash coordinates the communication among all the flashes by sending information to the main flash unit before taking the picture. And the main flash fires at the precise time that the picture is taken. When there is a slave flash unit, it is also activated by the control flash and also fires at the precise time the picture is taken. Let's get started setting up the camera and flash for wireless operation. We'll do this using the camera's built-in flash as the control flash and an AF540 or 360 as the main off-camera flash. There are four main steps to set up your flash and camera to use the wireless function. The first step is setting the wireless mode and channel on the flash and then registering them on camera. To do this, make sure that both the camera and the flash are turned off and attach flash to the camera's hot shoe. Next, set the power switch on the flash to the wireless setting between the on and off positions. If you have an AF540 flash unit, press the small MCS button near the bottom of the flash unit until the word slave appears on the LCD. If you have an AF360 flash unit, set the MCS switch near the bottom of the flash to the S position. Note that you cannot set the flash to slave while the exposure metering timer is on. Next, slide the setting switch on the lower side of the flash down to the yellow dot. This will display the wireless channel under the word slave on the LCD. Press the channel button indicated by a C to select the channel you'd like to use and slide the switch back up to the white dot. Now simply turn on and press the shutter button halfway down. The second step is pretty simple. Remove the flash and place it in the desired position. If your flash does not display a TL on the LCD, press the mode button until you see the PTTL mode displayed. The third step is enabling the camera's built-in flash and setting the camera's flash mode to wireless. The fourth and final step is taking the picture. You'll want to make sure that both the external flash and the camera's built-in flash are fully charged. It's good to note that in the PTTL mode, several output and exposure compensation settings are possible. Now that you've learned how to use the camera's built-in flash as the control flash and your AF540 or 360 as the main off-camera flash, let's talk about how to use two AF540 or 360 flash units together. One is the control flash and one is the main flash. 
there are three main steps to this process. The first step is very similar to the last setup we discussed. You'll need to set the wireless mode and channel on the flash and then register them to your camera. Make sure that both the camera and the flash are turned off and attach the flash to the camera's hot shoe. Next, set the power switch on the flash to the wireless setting. If you have an AF540 flash unit, press the small MCS button near the bottom of the flash unit until you see the word control appear on the LCD. If you have an AF360 flash unit, set the MCS switch near the bottom of the flash to the C position. Next, slide the setting switch on the lower side of the flash down to the yellow dot. You should see a wireless channel under the word control on the LCD. Press the channel button, indicated by a CH, to select the channel you'd like to use and slide the setting switch back up to the white dot. Remember which channel you set the flash to. You'll need it in the next step. Now turn the camera on and press the shutter button halfway down. The second step in this setup is preparing the off-camera flash unit. You'll need to set the channel of the off-camera flash unit to the same channel as the one that's attached to the camera. To do this, place the off-camera flash in the desired position, then set the power switch of the flash to wireless. If you have an AF540 flash unit, press the small MCS button near the bottom of the flash until you see the word slave appear on the LCD. If you have an AF360 flash unit, set the MCS switch near the bottom of the flash to the S position. Next, slide down the setting switch to the yellow dot and press the channel button to select the same channel as the flash unit that is attached to the camera. Now, slide the setting switch back up to the white dot. The third and final step in the process is taking the picture. You want to make sure that both flash units are fully charged, then simply take the picture. You should note that a lamp on the wireless flash will blink. Now let's discuss the third setup using two AF540 or 360 flash units as main flashes with one flash attached to the camera and one flash off camera. The process for this setup has three main steps. First, set the wireless mode and channel on the flash and register them to your camera. Make sure that both the camera and flash are turned off and attach the flash to the camera's hot shoe. Next, set the power switch on the flash to wireless. If you have an AF540 flash unit, press the small MCS button near the bottom of the flash unit until you see the word master appear on the LCD. If you have an AF360 flash unit, set the MCS switch near the bottom of the flash to the M position. Slide the setting switch to the yellow dot. You should see a wireless channel under the word master on the LCD. Press the channel button to select the channel you would like to use and slide the setting switch back up to the white dot. Again, remember which channel you set flash to. You'll need to know that later. Simply turn the key on and press the shutter button halfway down. Now let's prepare the off-camera flash unit. First, place the off-camera flash in the desired position. Then set the power switch of the flash wireless. If you have an AF360 flash, the MCS switch near the bottom of the flash to the S position. Next, slide down the setting switch to the yellow dot and press the channel button to select the same channel as the flash unit that is attached to the camera. Now slide the setting switch back up to the white dot. Now you're ready to take the picture. Again, make sure that both flash units are fully charged. Note that a lamp on the wireless flash will blink. Wireless flash opens up a new world of endless lighting techniques you can use to create dramatic pictures with your Pentax digital SLR camera. Thank you for watching this tutorial brought to you by Pentax and Quick Pro Camera Guides.